After a tweet inspiring his daughter to play baseball, a local dad ended up writing a book about everyone being able to play ball. That's right. The book is called Yes Pepper, Girls Play Baseball Too. And we have the author Jason Klein here to tell us more about it. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, Nicole Scott. Thanks so much for having me today. Oh, it's our pleasure. Yeah, All right, so here. tell us what the book is about. It's Sure. So, Yes, Pepper, I wrote the book um, to empower young girls who want to play baseball. Um, but the message of inclusion actually goes beyond the game of baseball. Um, this is really a book about um, inclusion and inspiring young girls to do what makes them happy, regardless of any pushback from society. Um, the main character, Abby, is a little bit different than most of her peers. She likes baseball. Um, and the boys at school tell her that she can't play with them because she's a girl. Wow. So naturally, this leaves her feeling a little bit lonely and insecure. Um, so the book kind of follows her journey as she deals with these initial insecurities, um, ultimately accepts what makes her different, and gains the confidence she needs to go ahead and play. And uh, the ending, I think most readers will find very inspiring. Now, Jason, um, you know, I, I grew up playing softball, so baseball wasn't even a thing, or you thought that, you know, it was something that the boys played. Um, take us sure. back to the moment that started all this, that Twitter, uh, the pouring of support that you had after you tweeted, right? Your daughter wanted to play baseball? Oh. Jason is frozen Always in time. Frozen. The illustrations are... Oh, oh, is he coming back? I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jason. Sorry, oh. we lost you for a little bit. That's okay. I'm here. All right. Um, so we were talking so about that your... tweet, right? Yes. So I have two daughters. Um, Ava is 12 and Jade is 8. And a few years back, Ava had come to me and expressed some interest in playing baseball. And uh, she, but before we signed her up, she actually said to me, you know, Dad, it, is baseball a sport that girls can play too? And uh, my wife and I have made it a priority of ours to raise both our daughters to, you know, not only believe in themselves, but to always do what makes them happy. So when she had these initial concerns, I knew I had to do something to help boost her confidence. Mm. So um, as an experiment, I went on Twitter and I ended up posting her concerns, looking for retweets from anybody who, you know, who supported the idea of girls playing baseball. And um, I was really hoping to get a handful of people respond and just something to show her and help motivate her. And I ended up hearing from over 100,000 people. Wow. Um, wow. Major League Baseball, Little League International, USA Women's Baseball, they all reached out to me. Uh, I had a writer from the Washington Post contact us, and he wrote a feature piece on us. Um, so the whole response was, was so overwhelming. And uh, But honestly, the thing that really impacted me the most was... I heard from thousands of everyday parents yeah. from across the country who, you know, they not only wanted to lend their support for Ava, um, they also wanted to share their stories about their own daughters and their journeys through baseball. And um, that had a huge impact on me. And, and it really proved that there was a need for a book like this out there. So yeah. that was a major reason why I decided to write it. I, mean, it, oh, I was going to say it's huge because, you know, this a book like this is really kind of squashing those social stigmas surrounding yeah. girls and baseball, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. It, I mean, it's a stigma. And, you know, the, the main character, her name is Abby, like I mentioned earlier, and she, she struggles with some of these insecurities and doubts um, that go along with society's stigma. Um, and a lot of us deal with those on an everyday basis. Um, but the cool thing is throughout the story, she kind of realizes that a lot of this is just in her head, um, which makes her a very relatable character for young girls to appreciate. Um, and, you know, I think that this is actually a great story for boys to read, too, because it, it kind of, you know, is, provides a blueprint on how to, you know, not only treat people with respect, but also be more accepting of people who are a little different than you are. Yeah. Um, all great things to instill at a young age and, uh, you know, and, and normalize. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just proud that my book can somehow, you know, do this to a small degree. The illustrations by Roxy Lynn are incredible as well. Jason, we can't thank you enough for being with us on the show. Thank you so much for having me, guys. I really appreciate it. All right. All right. And that book, by the way, is available at Target, too. It's a great. Which is great. It's, it's awesome. It's Congrats, totally awesome. Jason. Congrats, Jason. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole and Scott. <laughs>